Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace the igniter uh, for uh, this particular oven. It's a Frigidaire. Um, the problem with this uh, oven is um, when you uh, turn on the oven, which is the one down here, okay? I'm talking about the one down here where you bake turkey, pizza, or pie, whatever. Uh, it, it won't light up. And um, so uh, what I did is I... Uh, I took everything out, I went to the igniters, and I find out the igniter is uh, the problem. Uh, and I bought the park, I replaced it, and it, uh, it, it's worked out perfectly. So uh, for the video purpose, I put the old park back to uh, show you, you know, how I get from point A to point B, right? And uh, with that in mind, it's also help you if you have this problem, uh, you know, um, I can show you how easy it is for you to uh, troubleshoot it and um, replace this igniter. Once again, this oven is uh, it's about three years old. I bought it brand new. Um, the uh, the brand of it is a Frigidaire. Okay, and if you want to find a model number for your oven, is down here. Okay, you open that up, and there's a name tag down here. Okay, there's a tag down here. It will tell you a serial number. And the model number. So um, write down your model number and uh, and the brand name. Uh, you know, put that uh, uh, put that on Google, and you should uh, find a pop. It's called the igniter. Okay. Okay. The next test I'm going to show you is uh, how to test this igniter. Okay. Basically, it's a very simple. Um, you can do it. Uh, why this thing mounted on the oven all you do is disconnect it um using a uh, multimeter a standard one uh, i don't know if you can see it but you set it where it read con continuity okay um and uh some some model it give you a zero and then when you touch it the number will jump you know when you touch the two test lead together it, it jump like that okay that means it's complete the circuits uh, some even beep, okay, but this particular one is show a one, okay, so when I touch the two terminal It, it, it show you see the number jump there Okay, uh, uh, you, you know that mean is complete circuits, okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to test the two wire that uh, that uh, Come in in and out of this igniter, okay to see if they're if there a uh, in a, uh, if if this heater element is uh, have an open circuits or bad, okay, it could be a break in there. So, with one test lead, you uh, you touch in on one side the terminal. The other side, I label it green here. I don't know if you can see it clearly on the camera, but I color it green and I trace the wire and that's that's go to to this this side of uh, of the igniter, okay. So when I touch it this number should jump like that you see that the, the number jump right when I let it go it go back to one touch it okay that telling me that this igniter is good okay in the case of the oven um, I test it I put it in and what I get is a one okay so I start looking for connectors and stuff like that but I realize that it's, um, it's the bad um, bad igniter because they have an open circuit so Alright, so as I mentioned before, it's a big safety, um, that, uh, that, that's why you unplug it, and as you see here, there's nothing on display, that means no, no electricity going through here, you don't want to get shot. Okay, um, so the first thing you need to do is uh, open the oven, and take out everything, okay, place this aside. All right, so uh, after you open this oven, you see this, this two screw, this one and that one, okay? With a flat tip screwdriver, you, okay, be careful with your flat screwdriver, you don't want to scratch the oven surface, Oops. okay? You do it like that, you unscrew it. You do that to both sides. Alright, what I do, I set everything on the magnetic tray so you won't lose. Yeah. 
Okay, next thing you want to do, okay, now be careful with these because, you know, you might have sharp edges here. You comfortable wearing glove, fine, you know, if if you're going to be like me, uh, make sure you pay attention to what you're doing, don't cut yourself, okay? So, really gently lift this up and then push it toward the back of the oven and to clear the slip here and that's how you remove this plate. The next step is, you see this nut right here? Okay, this thing need to be unscrewed. So with a um, with a three eight look like three eight socket right there. Okay, usually you can get this. I I have one of these fancy ratchet three eight side uh, ratchet. You just loosen it up and you take it out. Put your nut in that magnetic tray and basically gently remove this. This uh, I call this a deflector plate. Out of the way, okay. Now, what it show you is the igniter, okay. But before you get to that, um, I want to see that corner right there. Uh, there's uh, that's a screw right here. You have to take it off. So the side for that is a quarter inch nut driver. Alright, so after the, the screw, after you loosen out the screw, uh, slowly take this out, okay? Um, the next thing you want is to take this out, but before you do that, let's loose this out, okay? There's a clip right here, you just press on it, and as you see, this, this clip will release, and you gently pull it out, okay? Okay, so the next thing is the igniter itself. And it's, uh, it's the same quarter inch. Okay, so after you loosen this screw out, slowly, be careful with this, okay? Uh, if this is, uh, let's say this thing's still working. Uh, this thing's very brittle, and it might break when you drop it. Okay, just slowly set it down like that. And the next thing you want to do is raise up these heat shield right here. These look like the rubber silicone on these connector right there. Okay. So uh, at, at this time, if you want to, you can, um, uh, well, it's only one way to go in. Okay, just remember that, that this side here, go to the, from the connector and then so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this right here I'm gonna mark it green just in case I have to put these things back right that way the green go to green right there all right okay so on um, this side you just same thing you lift it up all right and you pull the Y out remember on on this side is going to the igniter, okay? On this side is going to the the connector. Right there. Alright. Then you take this out. And let's go. Put it right here. Okay, let's go the the igniter. That's the old one. Okay, so what you want to do now, okay, this is the old one, this is a new one, okay, as you see, it's exactly, uh, uh, exactly the same, okay. okay. Okay, the next thing you want to do is mount this thing on, just remember how the wire comes out, it's, it's going like this, and mounting. Align the two hole and basically tied it in. Okay, so when you line up the, 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 the two screw, make sure you finger tight all the way in. Then you pretty much use the nut driver to tie this thing down.
All right, next thing you want to do is connect these two wire. Remember the little wire? Go where the, the green mark or is it other? Yeah, where the green mark is because that's little. Okay, you put the uh, well, I'm going to put this on afterwards so you can. All right, the other one, you hook it on. Like so. Alright, after you hook on the connector, just put your heat shield back. Alright, all the way to its cover or the connector. Alright, now this connector go right into this hole. So remember this thing was like this? So you put it right into the hole and you put this, snap that back like so. Then you line this up, like so. Okay, you put the screw back. Okay, so you, after that, just check to make sure you got everything right, everything connected. And this is a good time for you to take a towel or something to clean the area while you're down here. And you're done for this. You're done installing the igniter. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test to make sure that thing light. So I plug in the oven and I'm going to set this, I'm going to turn the oven on and slowly, you know, pay attention to that uh, igniter is going to glow. When it glow hard enough, it's going to signal the uh, safety valve. You see that glow right there? They're going to give a signal to that safety valve uh, to open up and give it some gas. So that thing glow. There you go. This thing worked. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, unlike the uh, top burner here, this thing takes a little time, but there, there it is. Okay. Right, so uh, it's working, so I'm going to let it cool down before I install the, the rest of them in. See you in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is put on this uh, heat, heat deflector. So you're going to line up that screw like so and tighten this nut, this nut up. Oops, it's the wrong screw. Okay. All right, just remember that this is the only screw that is a uh, different size, okay? I forgot what size is that. This is a 3-8 uh, three eight, three eight size, okay? The rest of them are one quarter, okay? After you got that done, you're going to put this cover back on. Remember this... There's two screw, so that hole go to the end of the oven. As you can, you just place in like that. Make sure these slips is uh, underneath here, like so. And just drop it down. And now, take these two screws and just Find a hole and finger tie them in. That's one. Don't tie it in all the way because I don't think you can adjust it, but just 
just in case. So I just tie it in like halfway and then. Okay. All right. That thing looks tight. This thing looks tight. Then use your flat screwdriver, you know, just give it a few tones. It don't have to be real, real tight, because it's one real, real tight when I take it off. Let me make sure it's tight. Okay. All right, after you're done with that. There you go. All right, then you put these uh, baked racks in. Uh, for this particular oven, you notice that little hinge up here facing the outside facing up and it's going on the uh not the back of the oven but the front of the oven and the second one same thing all right and that's it